So these are the differential pressure switches that we now use on our solar pump kits. Uh, these can be wired up for normally open or normally closed. We're going to wire it up as normally open for our control box here. So start off by taking off this screw on the front and lifting that away. So we're going to wire up to these two terminals. Grab a hole punch, put it through the gland there, then grab your wires, stick them in through here. Do one wire at a time because they can get a bit fiddly otherwise. Now you want to make sure you only loosen these screws off just a little bit. You don't want to do it to the point where it falls out. There we go. Now that we've got that wired in, put our screen back on. Now, you can see here that you've got two dials. This one here is your cutoff point, and this one here is your cut-in point. And they can be adjusted by changing these two screws on the top. So this one does your cutout, this one does your differential. And you can see here, the gauge going up, so I'm decreasing there, and this is where I'm increasing. Now to wire this into the control box, take the other end of your cable, come up through this gland here and we're going to be wiring it into the TC and TH terminals just here so again loosen off your screws not enough to make them fall out I like to twist the ends of the wire together to make sure they don't separate There we go. Now, feed it into the terminal. And be very careful on this part. You want to make sure that you don't get any of the insulation in the terminal because it can affect whether the signal can get from the pressure switch to the controller. There you go. Now, when the pressure switch engages, the tank full light will light up red. When it disengages, it'll turn off. 